Well, how y'all doing, folks? I sure am tickled to death to be out here. I've done spent <laughs> all day long on a live stream and kept telling people I got to get out here and get this mulcher fired up and demonstrate it. But uh, I couldn't pass by without showing off my tomato plants. I don't mean to be a, a braggart or something like that. But I just got to tell you, I'm overwhelmed by these things. I mean, these are these are tomato plants. <laughs> Boy, if them tomato plants grow up good, I bet I could grow some wacky tobacco. But uh, yesterday I got my first two ripe cherry tomatoes off of there. This morning I got me two more nice red ripe ones from down in there somewhere. And I got some more starting to turn red. Anyway, let's get over here and let me show you what I wanted to talk about today. Well, this right here is my Harbor Freight Mulcher Shredder. And uh, I had done a video on this talking about it and, and showing some features on it, but I didn't uh, show a video of actually using it. And I thought that what I would do is I would uh, actually... Uh, demonstrate it today for you and I've I've had it now I think it's two years I've had this and I've had it stored in the garage in the dry and what's neat about this is it has a, uh, a gasoline shut off valve I was able to shut the gasoline off to the carburetor now this has still got the gas in it from two years ago but it was in the garage you know controlled environment and uh, I'm sure it's that old ethanol gas. But all I did with this thing is I made sure the switch was turned on. I opened up the gas valve to allow gas to flow the carburetor. And this thing started in two pulls. Started right up. Now, the modifications I've done to this thing since I've owned it is I took off, I removed... This little rubber thing is up here, getting in the way of everything I tried to feed. And also, the plate with a rubber piece right here. I took those off because they was hindering the work that this thing can do. And when you're throwing these little lightweight limbs and leaves and stuff down in this hopper, you got this big old rubber thing sitting here. Hell, the little lightweight stuff can't get down there. So. I'm going to take this out here and show you how this thing works uh, before I cut back a bunch of this hedge. So let me get this drug out there and we'll uh, see if we can accomplish this. Okay. There's an on off switch on this side over here and you got to make sure it's turned on. About the second time I tried to fire this thing up, I could not understand why it would not start. It wouldn't start because it was turned off. Right down here is the fuel fuel uh, switch. I'm going to turn that on to allow the gasoline to start flowing from the gas tank into the carburetor. I got a little bit of gas in here. I'm not going to fill it up. I'm just going to demo a little bit. It's, you know, it's about one o'clock afternoon, so it's a little warm out here. It's not too bad. But um, this whole thing will do what it's designed to do, but this thing will not do what it's not designed to do, okay? For example, what goes in the top up here should not be bigger than a half inch in diameter. So I shouldn't put a limb in there bigger around than my finger. And down here, three inches in diameter is the max this will do. But now that's a pretty good sized limb. Got to feed it slow though. This is not a big commercial machine. But by golly, it'll turn it turn all this edge that I've cut down into a little bitty pile over there. You can probably put in one wheel bar. So before I crank it up, let me cut a few pieces here to make it easier to feed.
Okay, so I have not started this thing today. Let's see. I think I need to choke it that way. enough to see what's going on I hope maybe you watching this and seeing how well it works it helps get you off the fence whether you want to buy one or whether you don't you might say well I see that works pretty good I think I'll get one or you might say well it's not as big it won't do as big a job as I'd hoped so maybe it's not for you but uh I'm pleased I'm pleased with mine uh, back a year or so ago maybe two years I had it set up back here where I was cleaning up that dog pen and all them tree limbs and stuff. And this mulcher right here ate every, every bit of it and cleaned it up nice. And uh, so I'll get back out here this afternoon when it cools off maybe and try to finish up just this little bit I've got right here. Because I sure as hell ain't going to do it right now. <laughs> Y'all have a wonderful day and a better tomorrow. Bye everybody. You want a cheeseburger? <laughs> cheeseburger. Cheeseburger. Cheeseburger.
cheeseburger. Huh? Cheeseburger. <laughs> Oh my goodness. You like cheeseburgers. Yes, you do.